guys today we're going to load cisco load a cisco 7965 with the sip firmware load so i'm going to show you how to do it so first thing you need is a cisco 7965 and do now and you need a poe adapter what you're going to do is you're going to hold down the pound sign pound key on the keypad powering it up and just hold it until you see the flashing speed dial buttons on the upper right, the sequence of speed dial buttons, they just start at the top and move down. As soon as you see that, you can let go of pound. And then now you want to type in the magic key sequence, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, star, 0, pound. And as soon as you do that, that will trigger the, the magic firmware load sequence. And what it's going to do is it's going to contact your DHCP server on your network and get the options 6 and 150 which will contain the IP address of TFTP and you're going to be running a TFTP server which is trivial FTP on your local network. The thing to do is to run pumpkin so get a copy of and set up your DHCP with options 66 and 150 containing the IP address of work and find the TFTP server. And what you're going to do now, I'm getting right here, running on this, running on this machine. So what you're going to do with Pumpkin is you're going to load up the TFTP root with all the SIP firmware files that you can find for Cisco 7965. And then you're going to put a few config files in there to tell Cisco how to Cisco phones how to find the prior version of TFTP. So this is what it looks like. Now, starting up the phone again, it's restarting itself after downloading something. So it's a many step process. It's gonna keep on loading itself up. As soon as you do that magic key sequence, it'll base start the process and it'll boot many times and download many files from, from TFT. So, so right now it's starting back up, showing the default background, showing the wrong date, 2011, even though it's 2020, it's still showing the wrong date. So now it's contacting DHCP, it's hitting Pumpkin. Here's Pumpkin right here. Looks like the first thing it got was the uh, config file, sep macscf.xml. And now it's downloading one of the SIP more files right here. This is called SIP5. So this is, uh, and you hear that little peep sound. There it is. Now it downloaded 192K. Now it's getting the next one. It's a DSP file of some sort. Now we got three checkboxes indicating, three out of the five checkboxes indicating that we're three-fifths of the way done. And now it's installing some sort of some sort of firmware file upgrading. So once you do this, this will wipe out your your SCCP configuration, which was needed for Cisco Call Manager. So this will this phone will no longer work with Cisco Manager. Now you can use it with Asterisk. So that's the purpose of this exercise: is to get this phone to my Asterisk server. So. So here we go. There's more files being sent over Pumpkin. Pumpkin is serving up more files. The phone is phone's IP address is 192.168.8.57. Here's the files inside of the pump folder, Pumpkin TFTP root folder. If you missed it. So now we're getting our file, some sort of Java file. So these phones are running Java, and this is Pumpkin serving up more files. So it's a long process. Be patient. So once you do this part, you'll be all set to connect your phone to, to Asterisk. If you have your own Asterisk server. So now we're three checkboxes through with this process and the upgrade process. The checkboxes are going to fill out from right to left now. 
Now we're loading up the applications on the phone. So, so the important thing is uh, patient and make sure your pumpkin has all the SIP firmware files loaded into its TFTP root and make sure your config files are all set. You need a config file starting that's named default.xml to start with. Put that in TFT root and your phone will find it. So here we are doing it again. So you got the flashing speed dial keys again. And here it is starting up again. So anyway, you got to be patient. It's going to reboot many times. You're going to see those flashing speed dial keys many times over. And here it is. This is our XML default.cnf. Basically shows what SIP firmware to load on this particular model of phone, which is a 7965G. So here we are again looking at a screen doing nothing, but it's actually configuring the IP now. So now we got, we, now we're two years, uh, two years in the future. So we started this process. We know it's still 2020. The phone thinks it's 2013 now. So the phone, to unlock the, the menu settings, the, thing, the first thing to do is press the settings button and then press star, star zero to unlock them. And in there and see them. If you want to lock them back up again, you push star star zero again while you're in the settings button, settings menu. So these are all the, this is the, the log, the log right here. This is TFTP root showing all the files that I'm serving up with pumpkin. And you want to edit these config files. You can set your dial plan. This is our dial plan. It's got our, our asterisk password in there too for the line, line one for each of the lines. You set up an auth name and a password and that's where you set it. So here we are with another config file. So so anyway, we're resetting it again. Here we are, resetting. Yeah, it's looking pretty good now. I think it's going to work. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. And give us a thumbs up if you liked it. And ask all your friends to subscribe because we really need subscribers. Thanks, guys.